The history of hunter traps from vanilla to now. The way traps worked in vanilla WoW was a little different to how they work today. Traps could not be placed in combat and could be resisted very easily. Also, you could only use one trap at a time. So if you placed down a freezing trap to CC a mob, you couldn't also put down an immolation trap because all the traps would go on the 30 second cooldown. Plus, you would never use Immolation Trap because mobs had a cap on how many debuffs could be used on them at once, and Immolation Trap did terrible damage throughout its entire history as a trap. The only Hunter Trap ever really used in vanilla was Freezing Trap to CC. Hunters would place the trap, then distract and shot a mob over it, but the traps had a pretty high chance to be resisted, so there was always that off chance the mob would just run right over it and one shot your face. Explosive Trap did terrible damage, and multiple Explosive Trap effects did not stack until Cataclysm. Ice Trap was used to kite in PvP, pretty much nothing else. There was a trick that only pro hunters would use, where they would feign death to leave combat, and then drop a trap. This was quite hard, because if your pet was off attacking something else, you were kept in combat and couldn't trap. So only the very best hunters could micromanage their pet so they could trap mid-fight. When BC came around, Blizzard introduced Snake Trap, a new one-of-a-kind everything trap that did AoE damage and slowed. Also, Blizzard finally allowed hunters to trap in combat at the cost of a 2 second arming timer, which means the trap will not work until 2 seconds after it is placed. But you could still only have one trap at a time, an Ice Trap had a better AoE slow, and Explosive Trap did more AoE damage. Also, the snakes have ridiculously low health and can be AoE down by pretty much anything. So Snake Trap was pretty bad, but very cool looking, so people use it anyway. There was a bug that lasted quite some time where the snakes could attack other players from the opposing faction, even if they were not flagged for PvP, and when the snakes attacked, would flag them. Blizzard did not respond to crazy bugs like this as fast as they do today, so this glitch lasted until patch 2.4. Wrath of the Lynch King was the king of the trap expansions. In Wrath, Freezing Arrow was introduced, which allowed you to launch a freezing trap to a specific location and thus created Scatter Trap. Scatter Trapping is an advanced PvP Hunter technique where you scatter shot your CC target, then shoot a freezing trap under their feet. Now in Wrath, the arming timer was lowered to one second, so in the time it takes you to pick the location, shoot the trap, travel time of the trap and army time of the trap, the CC target would have ended their 4 second back and forth from scattershot and would be frozen for 10 seconds. The CC max duration on players was 10 seconds back in wrath and wasn't lowered to 8 seconds until cata. So you could CC one target for 14 seconds every 30 seconds, making hunters the best CCers in arenas. Other classes can CC for longer, but you have to remember both skills, Freezing Arrow and Scatter Shot, are instant cast, and other classes who CC that long have to cast, so it's easier to stop them. With Hunters, you had a global cooldown to try and CC the Hunter before you could follow up his scatter with a trap. Later in Wrath, they finally gave traps separate cooldowns based on their school of magic, so Hunters could finally have up to three traps placed at once. Snake, which is in the Nature School, Frost, Freezing Trap, or Arrow, which was in the Frost School, or Immolation Trap, or Explosive for the Fire School. In Cataclysm, Blizzard removed Freezing Arrow and instead gave Hunters Trap Launcher, a new spell that was supposed to allow Hunters to launch any trap they had to work like Freezing Arrow. The only problem with this new spell was that it was incredibly clunky. The move was not on the global cooldown, but you also couldn't use it with another move at the same time so you couldn't just macro to a trap to have it work like Freezing Arrow. Also, it cost 20 focus. The new resource system that regenerated so terribly slow, hunters were close to non-existent in arenas when Cata launched. I know, personally, Trap Launcher is the reason I stopped PvPing on my hunter in Cataclysm. Launcher also extremely slowed down scatter trapping. You see, the new way to scatter trap was to activate Trap Launcher first to get the buff then scatter shot and trap like normal. The only problem with this new method was that it turned it into a 3 button CC chain and a good opponent could tell when a hunter was about to trap by noticing the trap launcher buff on the hunter and prepare to eat the trap for their healer or pop a CC on the hunter. There was also a time when explosive trap was really good in kata. 
At the start of Dragon Soul in patch 4.3, Blizzard buffed Survival Hunters pretty hard to compete with all the casters who had the legendary staff from Firelands. With this buff, they allowed Lock and Load to proc twice as much as before, which pushed Explosive Trap ahead of Black Arrow in regards to single target DPS, and made Hunters godlike on AoE fights. You see, back then, Black Arrow lasted 15 seconds and ticked once every 3 seconds. Haste does not affect Hunter's dots, so it was always once every 3 seconds every time. Explosive Trap ticked once every 2 seconds and lasted for 20 seconds, which gave it twice as much chance to proc, lock, and load than Black Arrow. Blizzard eventually changed Black Arrow to tick as much as Explosive Trap by changing it to last 20 seconds like Explosive Trap and tick once every 2 seconds like Explosive Trap while keeping the damage the same. But it was still a DPS increase to use Explosive Trap on AoE fights over Black Arrow after the change. In Miss, Blizzard finally fixed Trap Launcher. They turned it into a toggle ability so you can just leave it on all the time and scatter trap like you could in Wrath, to my undying gratitude. Blizzard also removed Immolation Trap because, quite frankly, it was always a useless trap and was never any good. Over the course of WoW, Hunters have had six traps in total, plus one ability that only affects them. Immolation Trap was one of the originals, and the second trap to be removed. Explosive Trap was also one of the four original traps, and had its moment of fame for a couple of weeks in Dragon Soul, where it beat out Black Arrow in single target DPS. Freezing Trap has always been a really good trap all throughout its WoW history. It was a great single target CC in vanilla and BC, and can be used on multiple targets for a short time in early Kata, which allowed SV Hunters to be insane CCers for the new 5-man dungeons that required crazy CC, like pre-nerf Beauty and Neff. Ice Trap, which used to be called Frost Trap, was the fourth original trap, despite the name change. People would confuse the two Ice Traps with each other, so they changed Frost to Ice to avoid confusion. But if you ask me, they should have changed Freezing to Ice, but whatever. Ice Trap has always been a good PvP trap, and was amazing for raid fights where you had to kite a ton of ads, like Magma and BWL. Snake Trap, introduced in BC, was never really that great, but was always really cool to use, and was the cause for a lot of griefing in early BC. The snakes shoot three poisons similar to the rogue poisons, of the same name. Crippling Poison, Mind Numbing Poison, and Deadly Poison. The snakes actually spit these poisons out with a range of about 3 yards and keep shooting poisons until everything in their area is poisoned. They also will melee attack after everything is drenched in poison. Freezing Arrow, sadly, only lasted for one expansion, but turned hunters into the best PvP CCers in the game until the terrible clunkiness that was Trap Launcher and Cataclysm. And finally, Trap Launcher. Clunky as shit in early Cata, but amazing as hell in Mists. Well, that's it. That's the entire history of Traps up to Mist, WoW's current expansion.